Located in the heart of Tamuning, the International Trade Center has become a landmark office building housing several government agencies and businesses. However, the parking situation has become a problem not only for employees and the public, but those in need of accessible parking. Barragata resident Patricia Roberto paid a visit to the ITC building today to pick up a police clearance for her son and describes a scenario experienced by many. It's just very, very um, uh, difficult finding a parking anywhere and it, take, it takes a long walk from there, from that end, to the building itself. The 211,000 square foot building has been around for more than 30 years, housing several businesses in Tamuning. Most recently, the building has received an influx of people due to the addition of the Attorney General's Office, the Department of Administration, and the Guam Police Department's Records and ID section. And while his department has been in the building longer, Land Management Director Michael Borja says the shift in traffic is clearly evident. So it, it's not, you know, we do have to take care of our consumers. And that's what we're trying to work with. We have had them come in and they've been, you know, pretty, pretty upset over the fact that it's taken them a long, it took them a long time to find parking and then they end up parking far, far away. Department of Integrated Services for Individuals with Disabilities Director Benny Servino doesn't work in the building, but he's getting calls too about compliance to the Americans with Disabilities Act. Our office has received numerous calls from constituents that have complained about not being able to access, you know, the parking in the garage and also outside. There aren't any designated accessible parking spaces. ITC management say they have over 800 parking spaces located in the building garage, parking lot and adjacent property. Included are 20 spaces designated for accessible parking, all located in the parking garage. But um, they still have to correct the accessible parking that exists there because they don't comply with the law. And you know, um, they're next to the side, sidewalk and you really can't have that because again, it's very difficult to access if you don't have an access aisle. And also it's very dangerous because there's going to be cars that are protruding the area, they may get hit. Servino says there are other issues that need to be addressed such as signage, height requirements, van accessible stalls and level parkings. He says while both federal and local law requires accessible parking, he feels it just makes good business sense. A lot of businesses aren't aware of this requirement. So we've developed uh, brochures to let them know what the requirements are to set up a parking for people with disabilities. He adds for accessible parking, the ratio is one for every 25 parking stalls. He will be providing technical assistance to the ITC management as they make the appropriate changes. As for people like Tony Cepeda, who happens to work in the building himself, he understands all the concerns. It is a problem because uh, most of the most of the uh, parking stalls are reserved for uh, employees of the uh, ITC building, so they don't have enough stalls for the customers themselves. In a release, ITC management say while they have done their best to maximize the parking available to tenants and the public, they regret that some visitors did not know accessible parking was available in the garage. Along with new signage being installed this week to correct the problem, management say, quote, we will continue to work to improve our parking facilities and to ensure that all tenants and visitors to the ITC find safe and adequate parking, end quote.